like, share and subscribe to Match Demon Flex. Hey, sasa niaje? Niko niko poa. Yeah, na tuko kidogo. You know? So so eh, he's saying that? He's saying Oh yeah. I'm not paying this bill. That's not my bill. Call your manager, call the cops. Call tourism police, call Uhuru, call whoever you need to call. I'm not paying your bill. There's a nice looking donkey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, yeah, buddy. Hey, Sasa. Uno do Swahili. Will they charge? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, he's handsome. I know that. They're good looking. Sasa Mambo, Habari Aleo, I'm a Mchana, I'm a Usiku. I haven't filmed in a while. Hey, the last video I posted was nice. I was going out at like 8 p.m. and I went out there to Machaco. So oh, yeah. I'm here with my bro Felix. Yeah. You can check yeah. me out on the Alpha Genius. So today I'm here with Matt. Uh, yeah. What we're going to do tonight is uh, basically we're just going to check out some random clubs here. Around the hood, so stay yeah. for that, and uh, we show you around the night club. We're, and we're in a moja again. Yeah, 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 Felix yeah. is the one that was with me on the first uh, Umo Umoja vlog. Actually, yeah. my only one. Yeah, you're but only I got one. I got a couple more planned. I'm gonna yeah. do one on that that uh, pub street oh, in a, yeah. at, at the junction. Yeah, yeah. I got a friend with a balcony that looks down on that road. Okay. And there's so many stories about this road. Like, yeah. and it used to be packed, but they, yeah. a lot of them got shut down. Yeah, you know, so. back then. Yeah. But right now it's kind of safe, so yeah. let's go and uh, chill out. Yeah. So, hey, speaking of which, when I was walking in, I saw a lady beating a car. Yeah, right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah like right here. Yeah, you know, it's on a Saturday uh, evening, yeah. so, you know, people are getting drunk. Yeah, it's controversy. Fun, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not the first time. When I was in Kansas City, mm. um, I was finishing my shift one night, and uh, I was, you know, I'm right there in the inner city area. I was on Broadway, All right. and I saw a lady beat a car with a brick. With a brick. With a brick. And oh. she did everything she could to make sure those the glass broke. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so, hey, that's that leads me to the next thing. Mm -hmm. Why does everybody think Emoja is so hood? Uh, and know, I understand. I, I kind of have some answers of my own. But why, why do you think? You know, basically, maybe uh, it's just a notion that people have, you know, here in Kenya. Because they think, like, in the Eastlands, people are kind of, you know, good and gay. Too, but yeah. it's just like normal uh, hood. Maybe I can say neighborhood. I just yeah. No, yeah, normal neighborhood like any other here in Nairobi, like Don Home, yeah. It's just like you know, people here love to live, you know, life. You know? Yeah. They love to enjoy life. So maybe that's it. It's a party area. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, this Umoja is known for the pubs, and it's been known for the pubs since at least the 80s. Oh yeah. It was born in the 70s. We learned that on the walkthrough vlog. Yeah, for sure. There's a bit of a trash problem on the ground, but that's a lot of places I go. Even in the U.S., that's going on too. So it's not like. Hey, Sasa Niaji. Nigo po. Yeah, na tuko kadogo. You know. So. So, eh? He's saying that. He's saying that. Uh, He's coming. No, yeah. Eh? Ah, uh, no, no, uh, twin day hapo. He wants you to buy. He wants you to buy the beer. Ah, uh, next time. <laughs> Let me hit the lotto. <laughs> he he wanted he want me to buy beer for him. But you see how friendly Kenyans are too. You know what I mean? Let me get a 360 of this shot, like. So this is what it looks like around here, like a really good nighttime shot, street lights. You see the businesses. They're all buildings right here. And then we have kibandas when we come up. The kibandas are the ones that are like kind of thrown together with wood, real natural. Oh, yeah. I think there's kibandas there. I don't remember. Maybe it was regular shops. Just regular shops. But yeah, look. Yeah, let, let me get this shot. You see? This is what we're dealing with. It looks just like any uh, pretty neighborhood in coast. Oh, yeah. It's just colder because yeah, it's not Roby. It's really cold, right? Yeah. Especially right now. Really cool. Kenyozi is a barber. You go there to do your beard, yeah, yeah. right? Looks it's like we got a we got a baby shop here. Looks like, and this is all a gated community. Oh yeah, yeah. For when you hear sure. gated community in the United States, it means like it's, like, it's stuffy, uh, it's real stuffy. proper. Mm -hmm. You have to have your grass at a certain height, or they fine you a, a penalty. Yeah, baby shop. So if you live here, you come out, you buy your diaper. You know you what I mean? Get everything here. And even there's a supermarket over there. Maybe you can just show them. Yeah. Over there. You always got a neighborhood su supermarket. Oh, it, yeah. In the inner city here, we have what? Uh, Sky Mart, 
Star Mat. Yeah, yeah. Those are the small neighborhood ones, right? Mm -hmm. Then we got Nivis. If you go to the more uh, flossy sides, you got uh, Careful. Oh. But Careful is here in Eastland, I think. In, in Aram, is it? In, I'm not sure. Is it at uh, Southfield Mall? In Bakasi. In Bakasi, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm letting Phoenix know. I'm letting Phoenix know where yeah, to find. Maybe it is common here. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm not sure about. Which one did you say, Quick Mart? Yeah, Quick Mart. Yeah, yeah Quick Mart is. I like Quick Mart. I go to Quick Mart in uh, in Coast. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah Quick Mart's a cool spot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys can hear the music. Like that's Kenya. <laughs> uh, Many places you go, you hear music in the background, even during the day. But this is a Saturday night, so, you know, people want to parlay in Kenya on the weekend for sure. They, they, Kenyans cherish their weekends, I notice. Is that true? Hey, Nyaji. <laughs> oh, we got, the, we got the Jamaican flag over here. That one. Jamaica, Jamaica. So there's a supermarket right there. Sofa Lounge. Yeah, we can just check out one right here. Uh, HB and Sofa. Yeah. So you see, we didn't walk very far. We literally walked. Uh, three seconds across the road, and we're here. <laughs> hey, whichever one has a balcony. Oh yeah. Because for me, I don't want to be in the middle of the loud music. It's already loud as shit. It's loud as shit right here. Huh? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, Solfa Lounge. Not Soulfly? No, Solfa. It is S O U L F A. He better be right about this one. <laughs> we, it's hey, we we just left our first club. We're not clubbing a lot because we're not, you know, 
Oh, We're yeah. not trying to club all night, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, sure. but if you wanted to club all night in Umoja, you could go from one to the next There's all night. There's a lot night. of clubs here. There's a lot of clubs here, so yeah. you can go from club to club. So what was that club like? Was it, was it legit or what? Yeah, it was legit. Come, come. It was legit, you know. Yeah. The vibe was crazy. And, uh, you know, I had some fun here with March. And uh, how was the experience, bro? Uh, it was cool. It was really cool. It was, it was classy. They had really nice pool tables. Mm -hmm. Um, so here's a funny story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The funny story is I go to the toilet <laughs> and there was this guy that we met before. He was oh, really yeah. happy about the music. He was and, really hyper. Yeah. yeah, he was hyper. He came yeah. and greeted us earlier. And then when I went to the toilet, he got excited when he saw me. Yeah, yeah. And he, and he asked me for two beers. And I'm like, nope, not today. Mm, yeah, you know, yeah. maybe next time. <clears throat> and he said, uh, he followed me to the toilet. And the security followed us and made yeah. sure that I was good. Yeah, for sure. And that was legit. That yeah. was really legit. Yeah. Because sure. so the security was afraid the guy was gonna try to rob me in the toilet or something. But so it's like you know he was like protecting you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And while we're making that topic, like I've never been robbed in Kenya. Like, hey, give me all your money. Yeah. You know, what I mean? <laughs> that's never happened. You've never but, experienced that. Yeah, but but everywhere you go, like, I I wanted to mention all this because mm. the the Americans and other country people. They always ask about security here, like like safety, you know. Is it safe for you? Yeah, it's safe. This is your first time, right? At, at this club, yeah. It's my first time taking a beer in Umoja so, 1. Have you experienced like maybe security issues right now? Since um, your first time here? You since like my maybe, first time here, have I yeah. seen insecurity? Is this safe or maybe? I've seen one incident in Coast mm -hmm. where two rival groups were warring against each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I have a little bit of footage of it, yeah, yeah. but I was so shocked by what I was seeing, watching it from my balcony. I had a bird's eye view with this camera, yeah. but I missed most of the shot okay. because I was so shocked by what I was seeing. Yeah, yeah. Because one group was screaming. I don't think I want to say it on camera. I don't want to go there on this video. Okay. They were screaming something religious and they all had pangas, machetes in their hands. Really? And they were chasing the other group. You know, and they had, yes, and them Twapa. And they had long sticks sticking them in the motorbike wheels I don't work time. to wreck the motorbikes. I don't work time. This was like 8 p.m., 9 8 p.m. PM. Are you for real, bro? And this all happened right where I shop and buy my soda, I buy my toilet paper, right outside my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the only time I've seen insecurity here. And, and here, there's no 911. No, nobody's calling the police to say, hey, these guys are out here with machetes, come do something. Yeah. What what happens, just like in the club, I've seen many fights here, especially around alcohol, and the fight always gets broke up. So the only thing that can really happen in a situation like that is some brave man or men or really strong women say, hey, you guys stop it. And they start grabbing people and, and ending the chaos, you know, so. No, I mean, if I was to, if I was to answer the question, um, have I seen insecurity in Kenya? Very little. <laughs> like, yeah. security is tight here. Like, they care about bad things happening, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. So you're not gonna walk in the club with a gun. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna beat the hell out of somebody in the club while yeah. everybody watches. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. People are always gonna step in. It's really so. safe in Nairobi, right? Yeah, and this is Nairobi. This is right what now they- it's about even round two. Yeah, that's two. Yeah. Let me show the shot of the street. Yeah, it's two in the morning. We're standing in a shop that's oh, empty yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. Here, here's where we are. Let's do a establishing shot. Yeah, we're we're in this shop on the side of the the, the road, right on the you corner. Like anybody trying to you know rob you or anything right now? It's about yeah. two, bro. Yeah, this is it. Two in the morning, so Nairobi, it's Kenya. It's yeah, and I mean this is a topic for a separate video, mm -hmm. but. There's an image about Africa in general that it's unsafe. Yeah. That something bad is going to happen to you if you're a white guy, anything but a black guy or yeah, black lady, yeah. that something bad will happen to you. You do have to be keen, but you have to be keen in New York City. You got to be keen in Kansas City. You know what I mean? So, yeah, for sure. I mean, the security here, as far as I'm concerned, is pretty legit. So, yeah, legit, right? the club was cool. Yeah. Right. How was the experience? Yeah, it was, it was legit. I enjoyed it. We both had two beers each. So, Right now is my uh, two beers voice, <laughs> right? <laughs> and it was the music was cranking loud, so my, my loud. voice is a little bit hoarse also. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good time. So we're gonna check out one more. And, 
and then we'll see how we feel. We might check out something more, but it's uh, me and Alpha G. Yeah, <laughs> join us, join us. Yeah, join us uh, for the journey. It's about 4 a.m. in the morning right now. Yeah. Party. Birds chirping. Yeah, man. There's a donkey in the you know, pavement. So. Oh, there is a donkey. Yeah, yeah, two of them. Son of a bitch. What are they doing here? <laughs> 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 Can you see them? Yeah, I see them very well. I'm waiting till we pass them, then I'm gonna chop the clip. So, like the club shots, I'll fast forward them and remove the audio, you know, because they're dark. But if they're fast forwarded, they'll look more a little bit more exciting. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah. There's a nice looking donkey. Hey, buddy. Hey, yeah, buddy. Hey, Sasa. Uno do Swahili. Will they charge? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, he's handsome. I know that. They're good looking. <laughs> all right, all right. What, what, Felix, time check. What time is it? It's around 4 <laughs> right now. 4.35 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Which club did we just leave? I don't remember the name. HB. HB. HB is right next to the other club. It's the same building. It's the same complex. The B2, wait, not B2, uh, Plan B. So it's called Sulfur. Sulfur Lounge. So, uh, sulfur? Yeah, Sulfur Lounge. So we first went to Sulfur Lounge and then yeah. we came back to HB. Yeah. We stand for Hongbin Club. Yeah. And it's it's all part of the Plan B building, Ooh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Plan B, and it's nothing to do with emergency contraceptives. Okay. Uh, it's something to do with an old business that was called Plan B. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, how was the club, bro? It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we have like some mass stories coming out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, it was crazy. We we definitely had a good time. We drank the same amount of beer as the first club. We had two beers yeah, in the first beers. club, two in the second club. We almost bought a shot in the second club, but they were overcharging really bad. Really expensive. Very expensive for yeah. Kenya. Yeah. For US, I would say it was pretty cheap, but it was basically like buying a shot to put with a soda for a cocktail. Yeah. And I wasn't feeling that. And uh, 
Otherwise, it was pretty cool. We we got a lot more attention. Oh yeah. yeah. And the second like, club, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some more ladies, man. More yeah. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Ladies were coming by, yeah, trying to lady. talk, and that led to a story, right? Ooh, yeah. The one lady comes up, talks, leaves, comes back, talks, leaves. Third time, she says, "Hey, <laughs> can I get one of these?" And she points at my beer. Yeah. I said, ah, oh, man, I'll go broke if I keep doing that because uh, a lot of people ask for drinks whenever you're going out. So ultimately, I say yes. I say you can have one. I'll let you have one Tusker Baridi, just like me. The cost is 250 Kenyan shillings, which is roughly $2 American. Alafu, and then the bill comes. Oh, <laughs> they doubled my damn bill, bro. <laughs> both, so, so Felix and I, um, Alpha G, yeah. our bill is 1K. That's it. It's 250 per beer. Mm -hmm. He has two Guinness. I have two Tusca. It's a thousand shillings. That's all it is. It's very simple. And then you add 250 for the one beer that I said you the lady could have. But no. Instead of adding 250, they added 1000 to make the bill 2000. Alafu and then they added another 500 shillings for their pocket. Mm. And I said that's not my bill. <laughs> and oh, I yeah. I protested, did I not? Sanil? Yeah, you did, you did. Hey, I protested and you have to when you're when, when you're being extorted. Mm. If you act humble and sweet and respectful, yeah. it goes nowhere. Uh, so you have to say, fuck this shit. Oh, yeah. I'm not paying this bill. That's not my bill. Call your manager, call the cops, mm -hmm. call tourism police, call Uhuru, call whoever you need to call. I'm not paying your bill. And they adjusted the bill immediately. Imagine that. Yeah. So <laughs> the, the bill was 1250. And then I still, still tipped my waiter, even though he tried to play me. So, you know, I'm going to get to some videos, Alpha G. Yeah. I'm going to get to some videos okay. where I do some 101s yeah, sure. about how to deal with some of these things when you're here. Because yeah. if you don't know, you're going to just be pissing money whenever people see you as... Uh, as an ATM, so otherwise we had a great time, right? It was fun, man. <laughs> yeah. Join us on the next tour as hey. we go again, Matt, you know. Yeah. I won't name the, lo the location right now, but it's yeah. going to be fun, yes. Yeah, we are planning, we are planning another nightlife feature. Yeah. It's going to be a completely different kind of hood. Yeah. A it's different going to be cost amazing. of beer. Yeah. yeah, a different cost of beer. Yeah, for sure. Different. Uh, different and yeah. Yeah, different dynamics yeah. of uh, patrons, but I mean, you know, real shit. Where's our light? Let's get some light while we finish. Um, but we had a good time. Mm. We had a good time. We had a good time. Yeah. So th this isn't one of them uh, negative Nancy Kenya no, vlog. No, 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 right, blah right, blah right, blah. Right. Right we it's about four. Yeah. Forty a.m. in the morning. So yeah. That's some good fun. We started around twelve. Is that right? Or eleven? Yeah. Round twelve. Yeah, so if we weren't having a good time, we would have, you know, gave it up a long time ago. Yeah, sure. I'm sorry you can't see uh, Alpha's handsome face. Really dark, man. Yeah, he's he's a uh, he's chocolate, and it's kind of dark. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. But hey, it's all good. We yeah. had a we had a really good time, straight up. All in Umoja One, all in one building, two different clubs, and uh, we literally we only drank two thousand shillings between the two of us. Yeah which is about $18 and maybe 30 cents. Yeah. So, uh, Caribou to Kenya, <laughs> right? Caribou Kenya, yeah. Yeah, peace and love, Kenya. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining this one. It was a whole lot of fun. And uh, we're feeling good. We're still walking. We might do a separate vlog. We'll see what happens. So. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, take Stay care. With us. Stay with us. All right, bye-bye.